Hello everyone. Um, for this lesson, we are moving on to a new type of shape. We are now talking about some organic shapes. So organic shapes are blobs, kind of free form. Um, they are something that has a lot of curves, a lot of wiggles, um, kind of, again, blobby. So with that in mind, we are going to create some blob or um, organic shape monsters. So to do that, what we're going to do is you're going to have your piece of paper and you're going to start by just drawing some blobby shapes. They can be skinny. They can be kind of ovally, kind of larger. Keep in mind that we're going to be adding faces in here and we're going to be coloring these and adding other details. So you don't want it so, so, so tiny that it's going to be hard to draw inside of. Um, so I kind of filled my space with five. You may fill your space with ever how many you would like, but fill your paper. Don't just have one up on the upper edge over here. After you're happy with your outlines, you're going to start to add little faces. Um, and at the end of the show, PowerPoint, so I'm going to click through this really quick. Um, but at the end here, I have tons of eyes. So you're going to pick from the eyes. And then for the noses, you can pick from the noses. And then from the mouths, you can kind of pick from the mouth. There are so many different ones to choose from. Um, and then if you want to add a hat, I also included some hats. So with that being said, that's why I took one of the hats, I took the eyes, I took the nose and the mouth. Then I added some feet and some hands. And then I went ahead and I did that for all of them. Um, I put lots and lots of details in my shapes. Now, when you're coloring, it's going to be easier on you if you have a Sharpie to outline them with, but it's not super important. A black crayon works um, really well. And other, like the black marker works too. It just kind of will smudge a bit. So there's no wrong way to do it. Just if you are somebody who gets really upset when your colors start to mix, I would suggest using a Sharpie or a black crayon. You'd have a black crayon in your art kit, um, but if at home you have a Sharpie that you can use, um, that go for it. I know at home there's different Sharpie rolls, so I didn't want to pass them out to my younger learners um, just in case, but a black crayon definitely will, will work instead of a black Sharpie. Um, but again, add lots of details, check out those hats. You're more than welcome to add different hats or different faces or different eyes than you want, but you don't just want to do simple dots in the smile because you want to get kind of fancy, give them come, some silly expressions, and they really start to make these blobs into kind of cool characters. Um, there was nothing, there was no ears. If you want to add your own ears, you can. Like I gave this monster two ears on each side. Um, go ahead and do that. And again, there are no hands and there are no feet side, but feel free to add your own. Um, and then after you get them all detailed out, ready to color in like a sort of kind of like a coloring book, then you're going to go in and do your best coloring. We are not really worrying about a background on this picture. So really please take your time to color these in fully, no scribbling. Um, if you notice some white space being left in your blob monster, go back in and cover it with that color. Um, leave no white spaces and really focus on um, the quality of your coloring since we aren't worrying about a background this week. Um, but again, you can be as silly as you want. These are blob monsters. There is no wrong way to do them. So for example, I made another one with a mil so many eyes and so many feet and he's wearing six hats on his head. Like you can get as silly as you want. This monster has no arms and no ears. He's just kind of a super silly guy. And again, color it in when you are done. Um, if you finish your first one, you're more than welcome to make another one um, if you would like to. Um, but again, this is a one day class challenge project type of thing. So um, don't feel like you have to make a million of these. It's only as much as you have time for. Um, if you finish bit early, you can go into free choice. But again, I really want to see these beautifully colored blob monsters. Um, thank you so much. And I'm really excited to see what you guys create.